coming up next Salesian News Asia Pacific Hello folks glad to have you join us for the 107th episode of Salesian News Asia Pacific I'm your host RJ Brand Radio Salesian 90.8 FM the voice of the hills the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016 This show is brought to you by Church Art Kolkata. East Timor two Salesian cardinals among 21 newly appointed. Father Jolino Vieira reports from Delhi. There are two Salesian cardinals in the list of cardinals announced on the 29th of May of 2022. While one is from Europe, the other is from Asia. They are Archbishop Emeritus of Gent in Belgium, Cardinal Luc van Looy, and Archbishop of Dili East Timor, Cardinal Virgilio do Carmo da Silva. Cardinal van Looy, former General Counselor for Salesian Missions, was made Archbishop on the 1st of February of 2004 and retired on the 27th of November 2019. Cardinal Virgilio do Carmo da Silva was appointed as Archbishop of Dili on the 30th of January 2016. East Timor is Asia's most populous Catholic nation after the Philippines. Pope Francis declared 2025 as the Jubilee year. Church Art Kolkata offers a fitting inspiration to the Jubilee year with its collection of life-size statues, 14 stations of the cross, 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary, lives of saints and innumerable murals on the life of Jesus and liturgical designs to embellish existing church doors. Also available are 10 panels of St Francis of Assisi's Canticle of Creation to testify your institution's green commitment. For hassle-free professional service, contact Don Bosco Past Pupil by email churchart.ganguly at the rate gmail.com or WhatsApp, Telegram, country code 919831020945. Indonesia 21 cooperators join Salesian family Father Noel Villafuerte reports from Jakarta 21 Salesian cooperators of the Jakarta Center renewed their apostolic promise on 27 May solemnity of the ascension Provincial Father Andrew Wong explained the difference between one who is a full-fledged Salesian cooperator and an ordinary Christian who is actively involved in his or her parish. Ms. Olivia Ernie Johan succeeds Mr. Jimmy Wijaya as the new coordinator. The group then proceeded to the seminary chapel for the Eucharistic celebration and renewal of their apostolic promise. A handful of Salesian cooperator aspirants were also present. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College Sonada Darjeeling. <music> India staff training enhances knowledge on substance use and prevention among youth. Caroline Matthew reports from Bangalore. Bangalore Rural Educational and Development Society, Bretts Bangalore, organized a two-day staff training for the members of Drug Rehabilitation, Education and Mentoring Dream Program at Don Bosco Provincial House, Bangalore. The training aimed at enhancing knowledge of the staff on substance use among young, prevention strategies and counseling skills to deliver quality and maximum impact through their work. The coordinators present program activities for the past 6 months helping participants review their work discuss flows in implementation and share best practices to help improve their strategies to meet programmatic goals effectively brets is the development organization of the salesian province of bangalore since 1995 brets assists and promotes development activities of ngos particularly the don bosco partners in karnataka and kerala India 23 young men commit to follow Don Bosco way Abigail Karmeliam news reader at Don Bosco Media Network Television reports from Shillong 
Marking 100 years of the arrival of Salesians in Shillong, Northeast India, 23 novices made their first commitment in the Salesian congregation at Sunnyside Novitiate in Upper Shillong. Shillong Provincial Father Paul O. Lincoln, along with Vice Provincial of Gauti Father Joseph Teron and Director of Novices Father V. T. Jose, received the novices as members of the congregation on 24 May 2022. The novices were led to the altar by their parents. The day also witnessed 12 young religious becoming perpetually professed Salishians. India Mumbai Youth Group holds Marian Evening. Member joins a pre novitiate. Leander Pereira reports. The youth of Don Bosco Youth Services Mumbai organized a program called An Evening with Mary on 20th May 2022 in the campus of Don Bosco Matunga. Around 22 youth, along with Salesian priests, brothers, and sisters, participated. The program, which began with the rosary services at the Grotto of Our Lady in the shrine of Don Bosco's Madonna, was followed by fun and relaxation events. Special movement of the evening were live music with cello, violin and guitar, followed by Director of Youth Services, Father Leon Cruz, giving good news that one of the active members of the group is joining the Salesian pre-novitiate at Lutolim in Goa. The evening with Mary concluded with a traditional goodnight talk for the youth by provincial Father Savio Silvera. Those are the latest from Salesian News Asia Pacific. This show was brought to you by Church Art Kolkata. Enjoy the rest of your day.